How to set up your studio for TVS 2000A's tracking feature. This step-by-step -step guide will show you how to set up your studio for TVS 2000A's tracking function. Before you begin, please make sure you have the following. First, turn on the light and make sure it is evenly distributed against a blue screen or green screen, as this will yield a better chroma key effect. Set up the PTC150 camera and then connect the power. Using an SDI cable, connect the SDI output of the PTC150 camera to the SDI in one of the blue graphics card found on the back of the TVS2000A. At the back of the TVS2000A, locate the purple TVS cam control card. Then use an Ethernet cable to connect the RS422 port on the back panel of the PTC150 camera to cam one of the purple card. Turn on the power of the PTC150 camera as well as the TVS2000A Virtual Studio. On the TVS2000A, you can either start a new production or load a saved session after selecting an appropriate resolution, such as 1080p, 59.94. Set the PTC150's output resolution to the same resolution. The camera image should appear in the CAM1 window found at the top left corner of the TVS2000A production interface. Make sure it is displayed correctly. On the RMC280 controller panel, press the CAM1 button of the preview button row then press the menu button to activate the camera's OSD menu. Use the joystick to browse the camera's OSD menu and select Remote Control. Then push the joystick right to access the submenu. Enable PTZ Info. Output. Then press the iris knob on the RMC280 controller panel to check. Set the PTC150 camera to correct white balance. Return to the TVS2000A production interface, and then on the pane at the bottom right of the interface, click the Chroma Key 1 tab. You can either manually set the Chroma Key for your studio or allow the TVS2000A to apply the Chroma Key automatically by selecting Simple Chroma Key. After you've finished configuring the Chroma Key, on the toolbar of the production interface, click Options, then Configuration to open the configuration window. Locate the taskbar on the left side of the configuration window, then click the Tracking tab. On the CAM1 SDI in 1 pane, set the control port to CAM Control 1 and bind the camera to Virtual Camera 1 for tracking purpose. At the bottom left part of the TVS2000A interface, click Virtual Camera 1, then the Camera Setup button. If the previous steps are configured correctly, the camera setup window should open in full screen mode and display all virtual set elements. Use the mouse to fine tune the position and scale of the virtual set background. The left mouse button changes the position of the virtual set background. The middle mouse button or the scroll wheel zooms in out of the virtual set background. The right mouse button rotates the virtual set background to the right or the left. After configuration is done, shut down the camera setup window and return to the TVS2000A production interface. On the RMC280 controller panel, press the Virtual Camera 1 button of the Program button row. Then use the joystick to pan, tilt, and zoom the tracking camera. Check to make sure that the PTC150 camera image is overlapped on the virtual set background. 
We hope that you've learned how to set up the TVS 2000 A's tracking function in this video. And if you need more information, please feel free to visit our website.